Let's start now by iterating through the file utf8.txt and count the number of lines. So we have to set the counter to zero and equals equals zero. And let's iterate through the file for line in open utf8 dot txt and we'll increase the counter by one let's see how many lines we have print print and we have four lines great now we can count the length of the file print len from so let's call the function all open on the file utf 8txt and we have to call the read method then we have to call the decode method utf 8 codec is used and that's it so let's see how how many characters does the utf8.txt file have it has 46 characters what happens if we don't use the decoding method let's see if we will, if those two numbers are different so let's compare the the numbers utf 8.txt calling the read method and calling the decode method utf8 and let's check if the length of the file would be different if we didn't call the decode me method open utf8.txt and read I think that's it. Let's check what, what will happen. We, the program returned false, so the length of the file when you using the decode method and when not using the decode method is different. Okay. Now let's try counting the number of vowels in the utf8.txt file. So we have to set the counter to zero. For character in open utf8.txt, we're using the read method, we are using the decode method, and we are using the lower method okay so our condition is if character in a e i o u then increase the counter by one how many vowels are in the utf8 file print n we have 13 vowels that's great okay the last thing we can do is create a new file where we'll store data that is separated by tabs so let's start opening the a new file so let's call it f open and let's name it data data.txt and make it ready to write something in it we can write the for example we'll have apples then we add the tab and we'll let's say we have five apples then in the new line we'll add 
bananas, tab separator, and let's say we have 10 bananas. And in the new line, we'll add oranges, tab, and let's say we have 15 oranges. We now have to call the close method on the variable f. Great. Now what we want to do is calculate the sum of the numbers in the file data.txt. So the the data, how many apples, bananas, and oranges there are. So we have 5, 10, and 15. How do we get to those numbers? Well, we can try splitting each line into a list where the delimiter is the tab. And that way we will get each, each list um, to, be, uh, to have two elements. The first one will be the fruit, so apples, bananas, and oranges. That will be the first element of each line and the second element of each line uh, will be the 5, 10 and 15, the amount of fruit we have. So let's start by iterating through the file. For line in open data.txt and let's first just see what happens if we print line. If we'll just use the split method on the line where we use the tab as the delimiter. Let's see what we get. We get each line is converted to a list where the first element of the list is the fruit and the second element of the list is the the amount of fruit. Uh, of course we see that in the uh, case of apples and bananas we also have the new line character. We know that we can use uh, a method that will remove white space from the beginning and the end and that is the strip method. So let's call, let's try it again with the split method but with the strip method. So print for line in open data.txt print line so let's do the strip method and then the split method. Now we should the program should return three lists but this time the lists for where there are apples and bananas mentioned won't have the new line character. Great now we have just the numbers in the second element. Great now we can try adding these numbers. For line in open data.txt so what can we how can we add did we forget to yes we forgot to uh, 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 set reset a counter to uh, zero so let's uh, uh, reset first the counter to zero sum equals zero. So let's start again for line in open data.txt and let's add to this sum. What will we add? We will add the second element of each list which is 5, 10 and 15 but since they are string as you can see there are string data type we will have to convert the string into an integer so we will convert the the expression line uh, dot strip dot split into integer so line we are calling on the line the str 
strip method to remove the new line character and we are splitting the we are splitting the line using the delimiter tab but we don't need the whole line we only need the second element of the list and the second element of the list we can address it with index one okay let's see what happens print sum and we get number 30 so 5 plus 10 plus 15 is number 30 so this way we can add the, the data that is separated by tabs in a txt file.